<laughs> it's mail time. The address is redeye at foxnews.com. You write, I read, then we go parasailing with Paula Poundstone. Here we go. That is fun, Bill. Andrew Knottek <laughs> from Wausau, Wisconsin, <laughs> leads things off. What do I need to do to get you to send me that pie chart detailing the Olsen twins' composition? I'm hoping all I need to do is sit on my ass and give you my address. Thank you, Andrew, for actually sending me your address. Not many people would actually do that, but you did. <laughs> and so I'll personally deliver you that pie chart. I'll be arriving early Saturday morning. I expect a glazed donut waiting for me, but not on a plate. Linda Musso checks in. <laughs> Why does Andy Levy mumble so much? I'm only eight able to make out about half of what he says. <laughs> Maybe he needs to cut down on the drugs and alcohol before the show. Perhaps he needs diction lessons. He definitely should speak slower, slower and more clearly. <laughs> there he is. Well, maybe you should stop chewing, chewing the gum. gum. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of creepy. All right. <laughs> What's he doing down there? There was no point to that. Yeah, that was his. Yeah. He's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like Robert De Niro in Cape Fear. In the, in the movie theater, just sitting there. He should have a cigar. I'm just watching the Met game. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, Linda, Andy mumbles a lot because it adds to his overall mystique. In short, it's a hit with the ladies. So, perhaps it's you who needs diction lessons. Yeah. And I'll be happy to provide you with a series of very simple vocal exercises. But to tailor the program for your specific needs, please send me a naked picture of you in the shower. <laughs> it helps, trust me. No, I see that. Uh, yes.